Look, I didn't mean to wave you off. I would like you and Jack to spend some time together. But if the man's using me to get to you, uh-uh. Well, you know, he has a broken heart. I mean, so he needs to get out there and laugh and enjoy himself and be with somebody who makes him feel good. And you make him feel good. You think? I know. I saw it. I saw it. He likes you. So you don't mind us dating? I'd be thrilled for both of you. Superstar, you are the best. The best. I hate Kendall's little fake smile. What is she up to? I, uh, I don't know. Maybe she's just trying to make things work with this family. No, right? she's up to something. She always is. First, she doesn't want me anywhere near Spike, and now she's talking about these sleepovers, these overnights. Kendall is never this friendly for no reason. What did, what did you guys talk about? Enough already. What, did she talk about how crazy I am? How you should probably stay away from me? See, Ryan, this is why I want to leave this town and get away from these people. Come on, Annie. You said you want to spend time with Spike. We're spending time with Spike. Can you just leave it the hell alone, please? to be a smart woman, right? How could I think that I could glue and paste this family together and magically make it all work after all this time? The love has never changed, baby. For 20 years, Jesse. Frankie was a child. Cass wasn't even here, and you... They're not the same people. How could we be? I was so wrong to, to think that we could just pick up where we left off. Not after 20 years, there's just too much has happened. And baby, you know that's true. <laughs> 